He's got Kennedy McCoy in the backfield to open the game. We'll see as many as four back there, and he moves ahead for four. And it's guys back here. That's the look that's going to give this team problems. That's Iowa State's best chance. It's the title three cloud look as you see McCoy taking it out of the backfield. They swing it out to him, and Greg I can handle it. Uh, very interesting talking with both defensive coordinators about this uh, particular set as you see McCoy burrow ahead for Virginia's, although they don't blitz as much. They go with a little bubble screen out to Jennings. And Gary Jennings is just two yards away from him at 57%. This is third and short. Greer sacked. Back at the 49. Martel Petaway is in the backfield, and he'll take it right up the gut. That's the first down and more. Knocked down of whom we'll see next week against Oregon. Deep safety, pressure, quick out. And it's complete to David Sills. The thing about all in the top six in college football. Pressure package is coming. See if he can handle it. Greer out of the pocket. at the 30. It's Eisworth. Greer has the Mountaineers set up. Just a three-man rush. McCoy. It opens wide open for him. He's down to the 15-yard line. The 18-yard line. Out of the shotgun. McCoy again. This time really good. Going to delay to McCoy again. Not much room. I'll throw inside run game, but they're going to throw it this time. Looping it for the corner. It is caught. It is Sills. It is touchdown. Combination of the play calling there. Here it is. Just a little pivot. And then the switch is not picked up by the back end. And it's a touchdown well, as a result. pretty good coverage yeah, by Daytron Young. Bring down on him on the touchdown throw. Head away for West Virginia. In the backfield again. Ahead for a yard. Here comes Braxton Lewis. A run blitz. So nothing doing for... Head away in the backfield. Here comes pressure again. Big time pressure underneath. It's Jennings. He stopped well short of the first. <laughs> 60 plus. God, <laughs> Greer, five of five for 49 yards. In some trouble here and scrambles out. He sees the sticks, makes the first down. Good. Safety blitz. Here it comes. And down he goes. Over in Kansas, third sack of the game. That one for 12 yards. Greer, that's a big time throw that's dropped. David Sills normally sure hit. The Iowa State wants to minimize. Big plays. Safety valve underneath McCoy. How about that high hurdle? Act? Ahead to the 35, not quite to the original line. It's time for him to respond. A lot of heat coming. Trying to stay upright, but can't. Down he goes, Jaquan Bailey. Coming with that pressure. Now from his end zone, it's the shallow cross you to Gary it. Jennings, decked at the 12-yard line by Braxton. Rolled into a single safety, more pressure now. Wow. Greer lets it fly, and it's caught near the line to gain to Marcus Sims. Playing prevent now, just a three-man rush, plenty of time for Greer. He took a punch right there. Normally he would slide down. Three man front lets you know they've got eight men back on the back end. Trying to not get beat by coverage. It's up to those big limited guys up front to affect the quarterback. Steps out of bounds with nothing there. Second down coming up. And we talked about all the communication that's required at this stage of the game where you're just rushing three. Three down. Greer. Just nothing there. Great coverage by Iowa yeah, State. Unbelievable coverage. He still has plenty of time and has to have a way. That's yeah. incredible. Four man look. Yep, he's coming with the game, inside game. Greer under duress now, forced to run. Boy, that was a good pass, wasn't it? I mean, it was catchable. Timmy, he's a volume guy. He wants more plays. Look at this, McCoy. Pop screen wide open, a big gap for a first front. Yeah. Lima out with the uh, concussion protocol tonight. McCoy again, a one out of seven. Pressure. Looping it and going deep. Gary Jennings, the intended receiver. How do they deal with this pressure? This is going to be nasty. Marker's down in the backfield. He lets it fly and it's incomplete. That's second and 23. Same blitz, double gut. Underneath. It's the screen to Jennings. 
Stays alive. Great character guy, as is Will Greer. Let's see if the Heisman hopeful, who's been stymied tonight, clearly. Greer needs some help. Down he goes again. Tonight. Again, press coverage off the line of scrimmage. You can't get open. They're pushing him out of bounds. I mean, that's just great. Greer looking long. Short. His receiver fell. It's incomplete. Or was it picked? It was. It was picked. McCoy is in the backfield. And McCoy will take it. Part of the issue has been the inability to get anything done on the ground that McCoy just picked up. Bubble screen. He went to a knee. Yeah, he did. Marcus Sims. Greer sent again. Question. And West Virginia, it's not their fault they didn't get to play NC State. Now from his end zone. There's a flag. Flag is down again. Now if that happened wow. in the end zone, it's safety. Yeah, that's going to be a safe attempt. 